Boom Shakalaka, short term good news for Bitcoin and long term good news for Bitcoin. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, including some long term and short term good news for Bitcoin, especially after the brutal week that we just had. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed at 41, up from yesterday's 37. You wanna know why? Because the overall market is up 2% today. Bitcoin at 26,444. Ethereum at 1668. BNB at 219. XRP 52 cents. Cardano 26 cents. Dogecoin 6 cents. Solana $21. And Tron 7 cents. And Bitcoin actually respecting the bottom to the fair value price at the halving line, this orange trend line right here, finding support on there and then just continuing upwards. Go figure. Now, as of right now, capitulation is in the air for Bitcoin. As short-term Bitcoin holders have been offloading heavily this past week, mostly at a loss. But a lot of indicators have pointed to a local bottom. Open interest is being reset. Perps negative for three days. Minor capitulation has passed. Coins still coming off exchanges. And short-term holders capitulated and sold at a loss last Thursday. Supply and profit loss is another indicator that shows bottoms when there's more Bitcoin at a loss than at profit. We aren't there yet. A swing of $6 million difference. But a lot of indicators pointing to a local bottom. We may have found, as a matter of fact, Bitcoin is sitting between some very serious resistance and some very serious support. Right now, the resistance range is anything above 28.9 and the support range is anything below 24.2. Bitcoin sitting right in the middle. Most likely, it's just a matter of patience while Bitcoin finds new support and gathers the strength it'll need to break into the next resistance zone, all coming in time. Now, if we take a look, the overall sentiment for the market, most people are like, ugh, it's over. It's never going to happen for Bitcoin. And granted, it feels that way. I remember back here where it felt like it was over for Bitcoin pretty much until the end of October when price popped and it just went up. I don't know. There was like six or seven X over the course of a few months. Well, we're likely in the same thing. And I don't know if you see here, but there was a coiling back here. And it looks like there's a coiling over here, too. That's basically just price trying to find support before taking off. Now, right now, Bitcoin is below the short-term holder average purchase price. But this happens for pretty much the year before the halfings. You can see the halving lines here. And pretty much the year before, Bitcoin does dip below a few times illustrated by these red areas on the chart. Last cycle was below for a lot. This time, we dip below twice right now and could likely dip below some more before it's over. But right now, there is a big disparity between Bitcoin fundamental strength and RSI indicating weakness. RSI is the most oversold it's been since the COVID pandemic. Right now, based on this chart, buying Bitcoin right now would be, would be like buying Bitcoin during the COVID lows at $3,000 before it went up to $70,000 when it 20 x So that would indicate a massive buy opportunity. It appears like the bottom has already been achieved for the cycle for all those bears who are screaming for $10,000. Well, still an accumulation phase for the next bull run. We can see that the bottom generally occurs below the breakout from the downtrend, as we can see here, and the bottom occurs before the Gaussian channel turns green. So the bottom would be right down there. We are well past the bottom. Don't see anyone getting serious low prices for Bitcoin anymore. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at Bitcoin, it's TSI and the Chinese 10-year. All these green dots have been preceded massive rallies for Bitcoin. Either the months ahead surprise the market yet again, or this time is truly different because Bitcoin appears to be retesting a breakout similar to what it did in 2016 and 2020. Eyes on the TSI indicator. It's made a cross in this area in the past, and the cross means parabolic curve begins. Look at that. Very, very close. We're very close to that cross. Could be coming in the near future. But you know what cross did happen and does signal good things for Bitcoin? How about this? Bitcoin is still under conditions of the 2050 SMA bullish crossover on the weekly chart. This is a macro time frame which plays a significant role in the analyst analysis of Bitcoin momentum. Be long term, be macro, be patient. You can see the last time we had a bullish cross for Bitcoin 
price went up dramatically. If we were to have the same type of thing happening now, look at this, Bitcoin into the hundreds of thousands of dollars within the next year. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.